Dig into the etymology of the Chinese characters for zodiac. And you find it translates as circle of little animals. And if you wander into a Japanese convenience store towards the end of the year, you can see why. Everything from rice cakes to greetings cards are adorned with the cute renditions of the animal that symbolizes the coming year. What's all that about? I hear you ask. If you're a student of Japanese culture and language, you may have already heard of Eito, the 12 animal zodiac. This zodiac is actually prevalent in many other East Asian cultures. And it's often common knowledge to know one's personal animal sign and the current animal year. In this video, we'll explore the Japanese circle of little animals and their significance. The animals that make up the zodiac are very slightly different across Asian countries. In Japan, where they are called Eito, the circle consists of the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, rooster, dog, and boar. Here are some differences between the Japanese zodiac and that of other Asian countries. China and Korea. The Japanese boar is replaced by a pig. Tibet. The Japanese rabbit is replaced by a cat. Vietnam. In addition to the Japanese rabbit being replaced by a cat, the Japanese ox becomes a buffalo, and the sheep becomes a goat. In Japan, the zodiac was originally used to identify years, but was later used to also describe times of day and compass directions. And of course, like the Western zodiac, it was used in fortune telling. The time of the rat was two hours, either side of midnight. That is, from 11 p.m. on the previous day to 1 a.m. the next day. The ox was from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. and so on. With each of the 12 animal signs arranged in two hour prevalent to cover a full 24 hours. Furthermore, each hour was divided into 30-minute segments. For example, the ox one, or the ox one koku, was from 1 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. The ox two, or the ox two koku, was from 1.30 a.m. to 2 a.m., and so on. The direction of the rat meant north. The direction of the horse meant south. The direction of the sheep monkey meant the southwest. The direction of the dog boar meant the northwest. I guess it was easy to get lost or lose track of time in Japan's ancient past without a first rate knowledge of zoology. Unlike the Western Zodiac, or horoscope, which runs on a monthly basis, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and so on, the Chinese Zodiac runs on a 12-yearly cycle, with each year named after one of the 12 different animals. From January 1st, we will be no longer be in the year of the tiger, but will begin the year of the rabbit. But why does the rabbit come after the tiger? This was determined by something called the Jade Emperor's race, and the order in which each animal crossed the finish line. Legends vary, but essentially, the Jade Emperor, ruler of heaven, decreed that the best way to determine which animals became calendar signs, and in what order, should be decided by way of a race. The first 12 animals to cross the line would form the zodiac, and the order in which they finished the race would determine their place in the yearly cycle. 
at the time. The cat and the rat were great friends and neighbors. Unfortunately, the cat had a habit of sleeping in. So, when they heard the news of the race, the cat asked his friend the rat to wake him early so they could go sign up for the race. The rat agreed. But, come the day of the race, in his excitement, he forgot to wake the cat. When the race began, the rat realized he would have no chance of keeping up with the other animals, and so asked the ox to carry him. The ox agreed, on the proviso that the rat would sing to him as he ran. However, at the last minute, just before the ox crossed the finish line, the rat jumped off his nose and into first place, relegating the ox into second and the tiger to third place. The rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig finished in that order and make up the rest of the animals in the calendar. Meanwhile, when the cat awoke and realized that the race was over, his hatred of the rat grew so intense that every time they met, they fought. That is why cats still hate rats to this day. Illustrations and photographs of the 12 animals appear on Nengajo, or New Year cards, and calendars. Some people buy an ornament of the year's zodiac sign. During the New Year celebrations, in Japan, you can buy prayer boards called Ama, with the image of the upcoming zodiac animal drawn or painted on the front. On the back of these boards, you write your wishes for the new year and hang the board at your local temple. Fortune tellers make predictions about the year's events based on the zodiac sign. And some people believe personalities are beast shaped by the animal of someone's birth year. For example, 2022 was said to be a year of great growth and new beginnings. Babies born in 2022, the year of tiger, are predicted to grow up to be positive and take on any challenge with strong conviction. 2023 is the year of rabbit typically characterized by forward leaps. Against all odds, true believers expect the Japanese economy to defy the imminent global recession and finally recover from 30 years of stagnation. Babies born in 2023 will be warm, calm individuals with strong aspirations. Though the readings may not always be taken seriously, they still enjoy a home within the vast plethora of superstitions present in Japanese culture. And occasionally, they still predetermine certain actions among a risk-averse population. 1966 was significant for the curse of the fire horse, or Hinoe Wuma. Allegedly, those born that year, especially girls, were destined to become incredibly strong-willed, possibly even dangerous individuals. What could be more terrifying for Japan's social hierarchy than even a small risk that thousands of women would turn out to be strong-willed? This fear was so strong that there was a staggering decline in the birth rate that year. Notable zodiac-related ceremonies are also still practiced. In the ceremony known as Kanreki, someone who becomes 60 years old is treated to a special celebration. That's because 60 years in the zodiac marks the completion of one cycle, and the individual returns to the same zodiac readings as when they were born. Thus, beginning a new cycle in their own lives. And of course, the zodiac is used for personal fortune-telling. 
Here's a brief summary of the characteristics associated with a particular year. I will read the introduction part of the summary only. If you want to know more details, pause the video and read them as long as you wish. Do not forget to press the restart button after satisfying your curiosity. The Rat. Born 2008, 1996, 1984, 1972, 1960, 1948, 1936, 1924, 1912. Positive attributes. Outgoing. Energetic. Resourceful. Negative attributes. Rude. Greedy. The Ox. Born 2009. 1997. 1985. 1973. 1961. 1949. 1937. 1925. 1913. Positive attributes. Hardworking. Earnest. Trustworthy. Negative attributes. Narrow-minded. Constrained. The Tiger. Born 1998. 1986. 1974. 1962. 1950. 1938. 1926. 1914. Positive attributes. Brave. Confident. Passionate. Negative attributes. Temperamental. Impulsive. The Rabbit. Born 1999. 1987. 1975. 1963. 1951. 1939. 1927. 1915. Positive attributes. Elegant. Talented. Tactful. Negative attributes. Gullible. Bendable will. The Dragon. Born 2000. 1988. 1976. 1964. 1952. 1940. 1928. 1916. Positive attributes. Steadfast. Noble. Brave. Negative attributes. Short-tempered. Uncontrollable. The Snake. Born 2001. 1989. 1977. 1965. 1953, 1941, 1929, 1917. Positive attributes. Observant. Wise. Persistent. Negative attributes. Indifferent. Negatively introverted. The horse. Born 2002. 1990, 1978, 1966, 1954, 1942, 1930, 1918, 1906. Positive attributes. Sociable, charming, determined. Negative attributes. Impatient, inconsiderate. The Sheep. Born 2003. 1991. 1979. 1967. 1955. 1943. 1931. 1919. 1907. Positive attributes. Creative. Kind. Considerate. Passionate. Negative attributes. Indecisive. Overly meek. 
The Monkey. Born 2004. 1992. 1980. 1968. 1956. 1944. 1932. 1920. 1908. Positive attributes. Clever. Versatile. Resourceful. Negative attributes. Manipulative. Short-sighted. The Rooster. Born 2005. 1981. 1969. 1957. 1945. 1933. 1921. 1909. Positive attributes. Diligent. Devoted. Independent. Negative attributes. Overambitious. Aggressive. The dog. Born 2006. 1982. 1970. 1958. 1946. 1934. 1922. 1910. Positive attributes. Loyal. Honest. Down to earth. Negative attributes. Stubborn. Overly critical. The boar. Born 2007. 1983. 1971. 1959. 1947. 1935. 1923. 1911. Positive attributes. Self-empowered. Honest. Humble. Negative attributes. Short-tempered. Naive. Prior to the Meiji Restoration, those who could afford an education were immersed in classical Chinese disciplines. The science of the calendar, timekeeping, and navigation that were part of the administrative burden of all ruling elites relied on an understanding of the cycle of the zodiac. And even today, the animal zodiac is sufficiently familiar to feature in various aspects of popular culture. Manga, such as Fruit Basket, or the novel Zodiac War, are just two prominent examples. The long running manga series, Naruto, features 12 guardian ninja, representing the animal zodiac. Asking someone their zodiac sign can be a polite way to inquire about their age, assuming that you can make a reasonable guess about in which the 12 year cycle they were born from their appearance. Vain celebrities are forced to adopt a new animal, to maintain the pretense of being younger than they are, even if the plastic surgery has been remarkably successful. But that means, the snake on the red carpet, may actually be a rat. The Me Too movement knows all about that. Like everyone, everywhere, for individual Japanese people, an approaching new year offers the potential for hope and optimism, no matter how unrealistic that may be. And thanks to those cute trinkets in the local convenience store, the form that hope may take a friendly and familiar animal avatar. A cute little reminder of what kind of resolutions may find favor with the Lord of Heaven. Unless of course, you're the one who's feeling jaded with the whole false hope, drink and forget spirit, that every nation indulges in, towards the end of each and every year. Let us know in the comments, if there's some aspect of Japanese culture, history, or mythology, that you'd like us to cover in future episodes. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like, and subscribe, to help maintain the channel. Thanks for watching.